Did you know that 90% of our emotional responses are automatic? We react without even thinking, driven by subconscious habits and patterns. But what if you could break that cycle? What if you could take control and shape your emotions rather than being controlled by them? In today's fast-paced world, controlling our emotions feels harder than ever. But there's an ancient philosophy called Stoicism that can help. Stoicism offers powerful tools to manage our emotional responses, making it possible to stay calm, composed, and in control, no matter what life throws at us. Every day we are faced with stress and anxiety. From the pressures of work to personal challenges, emotional distress seems to be a constant in our lives. For many, controlling emotions feels impossible. A reaction to someone's harsh words or the panic that arises when things don't go as planned. Stress can take over, leaving us feeling helpless. And when emotions spiral out of control, they affect everything. Our relationships, our decision-making, and even our physical health. Uncontrolled emotions lead to rash decisions, conflict, and regret. It's no wonder that emotional well-being has become such a hot topic. We see it everywhere. Meditation apps, self-help books, and wellness programs all promising relief. But despite these tools, many still feel trapped by their emotions. The real question is, can we learn to control our emotions before they control us? And how can we do that in a world that constantly triggers anxiety, frustration, and stress? Stoicism offers a unique approach to emotional control, one that goes beyond quick fixes and dives into a philosophy that has helped people for centuries. But how exactly does this ancient philosophy help us manage our emotions in the modern world? Stoicism offers a framework for emotional mastery through a simple yet profound principle. Focus only on what you can control and let go of everything else. This is known as the dichotomy of control. You can't control external events, the actions of others, or random circumstances, but you can control your reactions, your mindset, and how you choose to respond. Mindfulness plays a key role in this practice. By being fully present, we can observe our emotions as they arise without getting swept away by them. It's about creating a pause between the stimulus and our response, a pause that gives us power. Reframing is another essential stoic tool. When a situation feels overwhelming, ask yourself, is this really as bad as I'm making it? By changing our perception, we can shift our emotional reaction. The stoics believe that nothing is inherently good or bad. It's our judgment that assigns value to it. By mastering this judgment, you take back control of your emotional state. Practicing these principles allows us to navigate life's challenges with clarity and resilience. In applying them, you become the director of your emotions instead of merely reacting to the external world. One of the most transformative stoic techniques for mastering emotions is negative visualization. This may sound counterintuitive, but it's a practice that involves imagining the loss of things we hold dear, whether it's our possessions, relationships, or even our health. At first, it feels uncomfortable, but the purpose is not to invite negativity into our lives. Instead, it prepares us mentally to face potential hardships. By imagining loss, we build emotional resilience. Think about it. How much of our stress comes from fearing something will go wrong? Negative visualization helps you confront these fears head on. When you accept that things could change, you begin to value them more in the present. You stop taking them for granted, and as a result, you live with greater appreciation and less emotional attachment to outcomes you can't control. The Stoics believe that the fear of loss often causes more suffering than the loss itself. This practice also helps us reflect on our priorities. What truly matters to us? By regularly contemplating loss, you learn to let go of superficial concerns and instead focus on what's most meaningful. Practicing negative visualization makes you emotionally prepared for life's uncertainties, stronger, calmer, and more resilient when challenges arise. Mastering your emotions is no easy task, but stoicism provides timeless tools to help. By practicing the dichotomy of control, mindfulness, reframing, and techniques like negative visualization, you can build emotional resilience and find peace in the chaos of modern life. The key is to practice these consistently. Now, it's your turn. How do you manage your emotions? Have you ever tried stoicism? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you're looking to explore more ways to master your emotions, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. 
so you don't miss out on any of our upcoming videos. Until next time, stay strong, stay stoic.